To finish up, we'd like to cover a few important reminders. For new students in the fall semester, you must have completed all assignments through the ROPES course in your CU Canvas and have approved immunization records in Castle Branch in order to register for the following spring semester. Please note that all three universities have different Canvas sites, so make sure that you're looking at the correct site depending on the campus where a particular course is offered. Similarly, all three universities have different campus bookstores, so you can find course textbook listings on the university bookstore site for the campus where a particular course is offered. Finally, it's important to remember that your access to services on the CSU campuses, which are services like the Rec Center, Career Center, and Health Network, is determined by your full or part-time status. A full-time student is one taking six or more credits in a given semester, while a part-time student is taking fewer than six credits in that given semester. Your access to these CSU services is determined by the number of course credits that you're taking through the Colorado SPH, regardless of what campus the course is offered on. This is also true for classification as a full or part-time student for financial aid purposes. However, the threshold for financial aid is five credits rather than six, with a student taking fewer than five credits being classified as part-time and a student taking five or more credits classified as full-time. Please remember that all of your financial aid for Colorado SPH courses goes through CU. The Colorado SPH at CSU Academic Support Coordinator is always happy to meet with you to discuss your registration for a given semester. Please use the link above to schedule an appointment. We encourage you to check in with us often to make sure that you're on track for completing your curricular requirements. Good luck with the registration process.